All right, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Overly Moderate Repentance. We're going to hop in as Eden because Eden is a cool character, and we like getting random starting items because we can get stuff like this and, and, and that and have no speed, no damage, and one HP. Oh, we love Eden. Let's, let's take a look at what we're dealing with because, honestly, I have no idea of um, inventory. I know Soul Cleaver does something by maybe two items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one that when you use it on uh, item pedestals, it gives you item wish for the item instead of the item. You get two of them, so it's like you can double the amount of items, but it's kind of bad. Can you give me a random setup? You're going to the current room. The setup disappears. I'm killing mini boss. Kill stuff. When killing a boss, random stat up times two is granted permanently. Random stat granted. Okay, so basically, it's way too much, like, specific stuff, but kill stuff, get stat, uh, more stuff, kill more stat, boss is permanent, and that's really... The boss is permanent thing is very good, right? Because... Oh, boy, we're not doing good there. The boss is permanent thing is really good because we are getting this as early as physically possible so getting an early stat like getting something that stacks with bosses this early means we're going to get a lot of stats for it which is obviously really really good as you see right there we got a one day uh one luck up but it will go away upon leaving the room and we actually really need this one broken heart though chance fire clumps clumps leave far impacts clumps kill normal enemies. okay this seems really good uh chance to fire clumps which kill normal enemies instantly a bit chaotic start here where we don't understand anything but that's fine uh, chance is probably luck based with our, no with our negative luck stat, we're not going to be seeing many and that's fine, we will see more as time goes on. Anyway, today's uh, question of the day, do you play Terraria or have you had any interest in Terraria? Do you watch Terraria? Uh, do you want to play Terraria? Anything like that. Because, uh, one Terraria officially version 1.4.4 was just announced uh, through Chippy uh, Gaming himself, really, really, really cool guy and cool YouTuber if you don't know who he is. Uh, like I absolutely love his channel, I've been watching him for so many goddamn years. But, uh, yeah, so, Terraria 1.4.4 was just announced, and I am not gonna, obviously, they were gonna do another update, right? Because they always say, oh, it's the last update. And in fact, after, this is like the third time they said final update just for 1.4, um, I think. But, here's the thing, right? It's never gonna be the final update, and I, I'm fine with that. But, they did say that they're making this update on the smaller side, and once, like, once this update's out, they can actually start working on ReLogic's second game ever. Because for those of you who don't know, ReLogic is the, are the developers of Terraria. And I, I think, at least as far as I know, the only game they've ever made is Terraria. And they, they haven't done anything else, at least any bigger projects that were, like, publicly released. Uh, that I that I know of, that could be a complete lie. Don't take that as fact. I am just saying something I think is true. But it could definitely be wrong. But, uh, yeah, I, know, I do know for a fact they did say uh, that, that they will be working on their next project after Terraria 1.4.4, and that's really cool to see, and I'm definitely looking forward to whatever they start working on, I'm definitely going to play, and I'm going to try, so, um, okay, just don't take the half-hearted damage, okay, I think we got, like, a penny, which is fine, instantly kill all enemies in the room, confuse all enemies, take a full heart of damage, I don't even think that's close to worth it, justice is definitely worth it, though, well, oh, and then nickel, that was super good, uh, hangman, hangman, okay, we'll take a hangman card, and we'll, we'll head out, that was alright, we should probably head to the shop though, because we do have a Nicolette Keeper that we can bomb. We already headed to the shop, I remember it. Alright, let's, uh, let's leave. Well, you we gotta kill the boss, obviously, I'm just saying, like, let's, uh, let's go to kill the boss and then head out. Um, but yeah, so, I am super excited for Terraria 1.4.4. If you guys do not care about spoilers, I am gonna spoil a little bit of the update. It's a very small update, let me warn you right now, and there isn't much to spoil, so don't think I'm gonna tell you about, like, a great new boss or anything. Um, they are working on some balance changes, including, like, weapons being better than they were before. The one thing I did notice is I didn't see any summon weapons get any love, and I'm kind of sad about that, but that's okay. Um, the Dark Lance, for instance, is longer, does more damage, and inflicts Shadow Flame debuff. Like, th there's just some basic things. You have one neutral slash good pill. I mean, that's just good, right? Speed up, there we go. And a health up, perfect. And we're moving on to the next floor, sure. I like this Necrosis item, it's definitely cool. Um, but yeah, so... They are like changing the Dark Lance. There, there was a couple other things that got changed, and then the one they, they said this isn't going to be a content-focused update. They said it's going to be a majority just balance changes and like that. I'm not saying that's it, as in there won't be no content, but like that is what they are mainly shooting for. There will be a little bit of content as always. They can't, they cannot make an update without sneaking a little gift for us. The reason, this is the uh, 1.4.4 Labor of Love update, they called it. They're doing this update. Let's be honest, they were guaranteed working on it either way. Um, but now they have an excuse. <laughs> so they're, uh, 
They're releasing it because Terraria did win the Labor of Love uh, award on Steam, which is really fucking cool. And, Danny, and I know, I know there's at least a couple people in my comment section that voted for them for Labor of Love, and thank you because they truly did deserve it. Um, but, yeah, so, like, I'm just super happy about this, to be honest, because balance changes are welcome. They, For instance, the, the rare, rare, rare pirate drops, and I'm a, I'm a summoner, okay, the pirate staff might not be great, but I like to get it every playthrough. And it's not easy. The discount card, which makes things cheaper, that's not easy either, all right? Like, there's some really, really, really hard to get things, and it's just, they made them more common, and I'm super happy. They made it so, uh, the, the ground buff, such as the bewitching table, the sharpening stone, the ammo conservation box, uh, those kind of things, those are actually now permanent buffs. Rotten gut, hello, my friend. Oh, you stupid mimic. I'm so glad I accidentally shot you. I wasn't even looking at my screen. Oh, boy. Thank you. Okay. I that's a good tell. Okay, if there's no music, I hear that. Got it, got it, got it. Like I, well, if there's no music, then I can then I can tell that it's him, right? But uh, anyway, yeah, so there's just some balance changes in regards to like making things easier. Like in the Old Ones Army event, for instance, um, you can now right-click the Eternia Crystal Stand to, uh, to skip the wait time in between. Thank you, game. The wait time in between waves, and that's really cool because now the Old Ones Army event time just got cut by like 25%, and that's really good because farming it was a bit of a drag, I'm not going to lie. It was one of the weakest points of Terraria, and literally just because of the wait time. I know not a lot of people like the event, but if you have a friend playing with you, I think the event is, it can be super fun and super chill. The, hard, the, the BS part is when you're done with a wave because you can destroy the waves, and you have the... All the waves are really for the beginning, especially when you're not putting Betsy or late game, or like the Ogre or whatever, depending on where you are in progression. The It's not hard to, like, to do those waves. And then you also have to just wait through afterwards. That was a little, that was a little dumb. But you know what? Relogic said, yeah, you're right, that was a little dumb, and fixed it, because Relogic is really that kind of game studio, and I really appreciate that. Like, they genuinely, they listen to their fans. I love Terraria. I like, they, they fucking, if the, like, for instance, a fan made a community post, I believe on Reddit, could be wrong, I'm not exactly sure where it was, but a fan made a community post about, hey, we should combine the the two items that give you a King Slime pet, I really love Sigil of Knowledge and Soul Heart, so we can definitely bomb here. Uh, we should combine the King Slime and Queen Slime pets to make one pet that summons both of them at the same time. Um, you know, they, they recommended that, and Terraria literally fucking did it. Like... Terraria was like, okay, that seems fair, and then they, they, they did it for this update, so that will be in the next update, too. It's not really anything, quote-unquote, new. It technically is, but it's just having two pets at once, right? Two pets that are already in the game. Am I hyped about it? Yeah, because I love rocking the Queen Slime pet, but I also love the King Slime pet, so now I just get to have both, and that's really, 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 really cool. So, I am super pumped. Super, super, super pumped. Um, I love the Terraria devs. I love Relogic. I know what they're how well they're going to treat this. Also, that's just some bullshit, by the way. Um, like that, that, that was... Uh, Really, really, really dumb. Be good. Okay. That's, uh, sad. Yum. I mean, at least we have some gulpy gulp yums, right? Not gulpy gulp. Uh, bi big, biggie boy yums. Uh, we can keep yum, right? Because yum just drops probably two or three red hearts on the ground straight up. Yeah, I mean, I wish we had better pills, obviously. That room could have been great, but whatever. Alright, let's go on to the boss. Um, but yeah, so... I, I know this update will be phenomenal because Relogic, they listen to their fans entirely and they try to make their game as fun as possible. That's that's what they care about. They care about fun and I really appreciate that. Like whenever a new Isaac update comes out, I'm a little scared because I don't know what they quote unquote hurt, you know? Because like there could be a really fun thing before that wasn't broken potentially, but they can sometimes just nerf it because they're like, damn, that's strong and just want to get rid of it. And I think that's not a good reason to nerf something. If it, if it doesn't break the game, it can usually stay in my head. There are obviously a lot of nerfs are fair. For instance, I am of the opinion that the nerf of Echo Chamber, completely necessary, 100%. Um, I think D1, less 100%. D1 was a fun game break that didn't happen all the time, but lets you break the game on occasion. I don't think occasionally having a game break makes the game worse. I think it makes the game better. I think it adds, like, flair to the game, you know what I mean? Being able to break the game with one of the most fun parts. But they kind of just wanted to take that out. And I mean... At the end of the day, do I agree? No. Is it Ed's decision? Yes. Is the game still fun? Yes. Well, I mean, is it Ed's decision? It's really probably the team's decision. I don't think it... I mean, maybe Ed has a majority rule, but, like, I'm pretty sure it's, like, most likely a team decision, right? Hopefully. If not, then there's going to be some big problems there. I mean, if if you, have a, if you have a dev team working on a game and one person controls everything, I feel like that's a problem. Like, people should have input, right? 
Even if one person has the final say, which is understandable, realistically, people should be able to go, hey, yo, yeah, but like maybe not, and they should be able to go, let me think about that. I mean, I think that's only fair. But uh, yeah, so Terraria is going to be super hype. Sorry if you uh, don't have any interest in Terraria and the entire opening to this video is just me talking about Terraria and you're just sitting here like, when the hell is he going to stop talking about Terraria? I don't know. Maybe not even today. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm like, I don't get excited for gaming news almost ever because I don't play a lot of games that get exciting gaming news. Like I play I Isaac and the most exciting gaming news we got was Repentance and every update post Repentance, I have not been excited about. I'm not going to lie to you because... It's just, it's been like a 50-50. It's like they're just trying to like, they're trying to nerf the fun out of the game is what it feels like realistically in my head. Like I know some people are going to disagree. They're like, oh, you well, the game's just hard. Get good, bitch. And I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're 100% right. The game is hard. And I, d listen, I, I am, if I, if I hated it, I wouldn't play, right? But I'm here. So clearly I'm okay with it. However, I think Ed just is trigger happy. I think if he has the opportunity to make the game like, when he sees something that is semi-nerfable, he'll go, we gotta fucking do it, and then does it immediately. And I think it's just too much. Sick Maggot I actually really like, and then we've been running, like, Rotten Hearts the entire game, and let us all run more. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I, it feels like too much sometimes. Not that nerfing is bad, it's that nerfing excessively causes mental anguish. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, once again, at the end of the day, obviously I still like Isaac, right? I wouldn't be here if I didn't, uh, if I didn't like Isaac, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play it every day. I would just straight up be like, okay, guys, listen. I know I have a YouTube channel based on this, but I'm done. Like, I can't do this. I don't like playing... If I don't like a game, it's very obvious. I don't have fun when I play games I don't like. That's pretty self-explanatory. We don't need more health. So let's just get some, uh, an item wisp. Mom's heels. Oh, boy. I was worried we wouldn't get range. Um, okay, we can, we can end that. I'm not, we're not going to mother anything. I, I'm just, uh... I, I made a mistake yesterday, right? Yesterday, I was like, we're gonna, I'm gonna take a break the next two days, because I... Why do we already have the full effect? Whatever. Oh, it's something, it's something jank to do with, uh... Uh, the downpour. I remember having this happening before. So downpour is a good way to cheese Explorer's Instinct for this floor. That's cool. I mean, like, it's a little, it's a little cheesy, but it's not like it matters, right? It's a, it's a fucking map for one floor, and it's modded, and we're not doing a streak. I don't think, I don't really think that counts for any sort of, oh no, you can't cheese the game, but look how dumb that is. Yeah, 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 yeah screw you. Um, but no, it's like, I, I, I love this game. I just, I think Ed needs to... Not just Ed, but I think the whole dev team needs to realize that, like, a gang break is fun, okay? And, and I think and I think a lot of people agree with me there, too, to some extent. But I, I just think, like, a game break is a really good and fun thing, and I think there's nothing wrong with it. Being able to break the game isn't inherently going to make your game work. Having any easy access to break the game 24-7 every run, that's a problem. Blank card Yera, problem. Just regular Yera room was almost broken, you know? Um, it, it still is a little, but... It's just like, it's so common because before, back in the day, you could reroll shops, get a blank card, and you'd find a year of most runs anyway. So like, you could just force a game break nine times out of 10, right? That is, that that's what we call a problem because then you can go through the entire game breaking runs. If once every 10 runs, you get a really, really, really strong broken run because you got D1 with a certain card or something. And D1 is already uncommon enough to the point where you don't get it every run. And because it's part of the item room pool um, and not the shop pool, you can't just force a D1, which means, I don't know how many times you guys broke the game with D1, but what you needed was a 48 hour energy and a D1. So you need a pill, which isn't even guaranteed to be in your rotation, first of all. So like you're not guaranteed to have this game break be possible on any run. And on top of the pill, you need the D1, which, you know, you're not even close to guaranteed to find. I mean, the odds of finding a D1 in any given run is really, really small because the item pool it's in. If it's in the crane games, it becomes a little more common, but that's assuming you have crane games unlocked and you have the money to play them and you get lucky to pay out and you just find one and enough to get the D1 still, right? Um, so, like, the odds you got a D1 game break, I think I got maybe one, and the D1 game break I got stemmed from a different game break that they haven't removed. Like, the one D1 game break I got was because I got infinite items because I had D7 9 volt on the last floor of the game. And since it's a three room charge, you can, if you're in a big room with 9 volt, it becomes a, like, it becomes a two room charge. Big rooms are a free charge. Final floor of the game, chest drop items. It's like, you can see how all of a sudden you can just reset the room until you have uh, infinite items, right? And I did that, and then eventually I got, uh, like, I, I eventually, ooh, we got a golden rotten gut. I don't know if that actually does any growth. Another Eden, we gotta fix that. Not Eden, uh, another Satan. We gotta fix that. I, I gotta decrease the chance, because we get this way too often. In fact, we get it so often that I feel like it's a bit cheesy, so I'm gonna try to grab Entropy over there without, um, 
Oh boy, just get out of here. Why are you why are you so fast right now? Bro, calm down. Why the fuck are you so goddamn fast? He has not stopped. Like this is normal Satan. Holy shit. What the hell was that? He just he wouldn't stop. He just he couldn't stop. He was just well, one red heart to two bone hearts. That's just good, right? Like that's just good, right? I don't see a problem with it. I know bone hearts break, but like don't get hit forehead. And now we can use our yum heart. Which even a horse yum only dropped one heart. Got it, got it, got it. That's really good to know. Um okay, Satan was just shooting like a fucking mad lad, but we're we're out, I guess. Um And now we can grab our hearts. That was just like that was terrifying. I've never seen Satan shoot so consi like he shoots that fast, okay. I should probably word it's not I'm shooting fast at this problem. It's that he didn't stop. It was it's that he was shooting fast and then kept going. Usually he stops. I don't know I don't know why he was such a such a jerk. Um, but whatever, I mean, you know what, good on him, realistically. Uh, our run just got slightly better, because we do have a pretty good, well, pretty better theory. I like Entropy. It's a much stronger item without Brimstone, um, to the point where I almost wish you didn't take Brimstone. Because Entropy is, like, super fun, super cool, but with Brimstone, it's, like, kind of basic. You know what I mean? Uh, but it, it's okay. It's still good, and I still like it. Um, Entropy is one of those items that every time I see it, like, I don't... I hope I got the right name, but it's one of those items that, like, I recognize now, and it feels like a normal item in the game, right? Like, when I see them, like, oh, there's Entropy. It's, it's like seeing fucking Brimstone or Mark or Pact, right? You see them, and you're like, ah, oh, pretty cool. I like that. Good. And then, and then you take it. Entropy is the same way. I see it and immediately go, that is one of the items that I want. This room, the fact that we did not get hit is an actual, like, is an actual miracle. That room was kind of cursed to begin with. Um, but it's okay. But it's okay, but it's okay, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, like... Uh, I think I started saying this earlier and then completely forgot to continue because, once again, I have the memory of a literal sloth and, like, a very dumb sloth on top of that. Um, but, basically, yesterday I was like, I'm gonna pre-record a couple days so I can have a couple days off. And let me tell you right away, that did not happen. Um, I tried, for sure. But then what happened is, as I was decided I was gonna record the next two episodes later in the day because I wanted to finish rendering and stuff so, like, my original video could come out sooner rather than later. Um, and then... And then, and then, and then, I waited till like 10, which is fine. It was like 10 p.m., not that bad, right? That's not super late. Um, but I waited till like 10 p.m., and then I tried to record, and I just, I physically couldn't. Like, I was too tired, I guess. Um, but I, I tried to record, and I just, my, my commentary and everything was just not there. So I gave up on trying to record at 10, and then it was like, okay. I guess, I guess the, the day off will be moved uh, a couple days in the future. So now we're going to be pre-recording today, hopefully, because we're going to try to do it earlier. Maybe I'm also, maybe I've just grown soft and can't record multiple times a day anymore. I doubt it. I think it's just the fact that I was recording later. Because, like, I've been recording when I wake up for, like, a good month now. And I like it. And I think it's cozy and I think I'm good at it. I think it's when I commentate my best even though I'm tired. And sometimes you can really hear it in my voice and tell. Yeah, when I'm when I'm tired late at night, it's much more noticeable. And it's not like you, and you might be saying, like, oh... Why don't you just meet in the middle and record, like, in the middle of the day where you're not tired? <laughs> oh, you clearly don't know me. See, I'm always tired, so uh, there's not a time where I can record where I'm not tired. It is a physical impossibility. I genuinely am never, like, wide awake enough to the point where that's, that's an option. Um, is that a good thing? Obviously fucking not, but whatever. Like, I'm sure being tired 24-7 isn't the best thing in the entire world, but, like, I get, I get away with it, right? I'm pretty good at it. I, I managed to, here's the thing, I managed to be tired and still be relatively productive, I mean, I run a YouTube channel where we do daily uploads and I have to edit videos for, you, it was like every other day for a while, but then I tried to take this break, and I was, I had to not edit videos for this break, and then it fucking, I fucked it up, which just basically extended the break from editing by a day, but I hate this boss, by the way, boss is like, unreasonably tanky, mixed with, comes some BS attack patterns, and spawning spiders, and wall creeps, I know different times, because you can't spawn the wall creeps in a second phase, and also rock falling from the sky is one of the worst staff items in the world, um, but yeah, this boss is like, just all sorts of, this is not fun, and we know that, but we're adding it to the game, because we don't like you, and yes, it's gonna be an alt path boss, so you don't have to worry about it, uh, but no, it's actually not, go fuck yourself, because now it's gonna be in the regular room, like, it's really dumb, if it was an alt path exclusive, I would be like, yeah, 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 that's completely fair. But the boss is just fucking stupid. Like, it's like Bumbino, but worse, you know? When we get to Bumbino, no, no one's happy. Everyone's like, oh, damn, we got Bumbino. This is gonna suck, right? Yeah, then there's Reap Creep, or whatever his name is. I believe that's it. So it kind of sucks. But uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna be tired, and that's fine. Um, 
that's my life and it's and it's okay i'm tired a lot it's normal i swear if, if you think it's not normal you're not living in the 21st century i just got fucking eaten by a chub um i can already tell this run um i'm not even i'm really not feeling it i'm not gonna lie to you like i'm just i don't feel this run in any way shape or form um the run just feels very it has no flavor you know what i mean like there, there definitely is no flavor for this run which is kind of annoying but that's okay i mean maybe it, 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 they gain flavor right it, it's only depths too it can it can still gain its flavor but as of right now it's just kind of like I don't know, I think my regret is picking up Brimstone, for sure. My, my regret is definitely, like, I decided to pick up Brimstone, and that was a mistake. So, I think we probably won't pick up Brimstone next time we see it. It's just, Brimstone is super boring, you know what I mean? I don't find Brimstone fun in the slight. I think Brimstone is one of those items that, when I see it, I take it because it's good. But then, it's never the fun I want to have with it, you know what I mean? It used to be fun way back in the day, but I think it got really... It's not like it's weak, and I know it got nerfed, but... I think what happened is, uh... I started being better at the game and not wanting Brimstone to carry me. And, like... I understand... Having a really broken run carry you, that's really fun, right? Because your run's broken, and having a broken run can be really fun, because it's super wacky, and, like, you never know what it's gonna look like. Fun. Having the same item you've seen carry you, like, 30 times carry you, a lot less fun, uh, for sure, so... I think we will sort of maybe pass on Brimstone at, at future, like, at, at future times because, let's be honest, it's just, it's Brimstone, and that's it. It is only Brimstone. Hello, Yara. I haven't seen a Yara rune in so fucking long. I know we talked about how there used to be a, uh, like, a game break, but I haven't actually seen one in so goddamn long. It's been a hot minute. Okay, give me something good. We have a restock machine. Also, have any of you noticed that the restock machines seem to give you, like, nothing? Is that just me? I never restock in anything good. Even this, like, isn't good at all. Especially, like, now where there's no more shops. Like, it... I'll, I'll spend all my money on a restock machine to get a fucking, like, moving box. You know? <laughs> like, I never get anything from them. They added them to the shops, and I was like, hell yeah, those are back. I'm super excited. And then, like, no, because they didn't do anything. Like, but it's just a me thing. I understand it's a luck-based thing. I'm not saying, what the fuck, they lowered the chance of, like, good things spawning. Maybe they did. I don't know. All I know is I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, my luck is shit, and I hate it. It's, it's really awful. You don't really ever get anything from those. Um, okay, mom fight. Mom fight should be easy. I mean, we have Jacob's Ladder, Brimstone with Entropy, and, like, Tier Game. And with Tier Game, every enemy we kill gives us a different tier effect, by the way. So, uh, we he have, like, a... We'll get, like, a lot of random tier effects. Did we take damage from that eyeball? If so, that's fucking, like, actually stupid, because... From what I saw, I didn't touch it. And I also might not have taken damage, but I I thought I saw myself blinking. So, if I took damage from that eyeball, I'm gonna be a little angry. Then we go negative a lot, let's go Polaroid. Oh, let's try to hush, hush. Okay, well, we were gonna try to rush in the boss rush, and now we fucking literally can't because, uh, thank God Satan's here, right? Um, basically, go screw yourself, this is really dumb. Uh, and we definitely need to lower the chance. I think it's at 20% naturally, which is way too high. And I meant to lower the chance, but for all my runs, it seemed okay. Dude, Satan, what the f what the hell? Man, you need to stop. You have other attacks. Stop. You you can do other things. What are you doing right now? Oh, man. Let's take... Oh, yeah, let's use Yara so we can get a key. That's really good. Um, that Flyboy is okay if you get it uh, really early in a run. Like, really early. Okay, um, angel wings are the best thing here for flight, I would say, and we don't really want them. Yeah, that that, that Satan thing is pretty goddamn annoying. I, I don't even think I have mod config menu turned on, so I'm gonna need to turn on mod config menu and actually change that, because it shouldn't happen three times in a run, right? It should be the kind of thing where, I, I think maybe like a 5% a chance, you're never even ready for it, it just can randomly happen, and it's this rare recurrence that's super cool and gives you some free shit from a devil deal, relatively free. Um, but, like, it shouldn't be, oh, you're gonna do a run and get it, like, three times in a row and have to fight Satan every single fucking deal with the devil and have him spam the same attack over and over. Horrible. Um, so, yeah, if you guys do get that mod, well, I still think it's a great mod, especially just for blowing up the angels. See, mine, let's see, do we have, okay, no, we've done a mod config menu on, unless it's this button. Oh, it's that button, okay, okay. Um, so, look, oh, and, ew, why is that, oh, I adjusted it for the video, oh, okay. Let's set it to like a 10% chance, okay? I mean, you can you can change it to zero, by the way. So like, if you don't even want him and you just want the angels, you can change him to zero. So 
if you want that mod just because you want the key pieces, as long as you get mod from Ping Menu, you can 100% do that, so don't worry. Um, but I want him because I think it's fucking cool. I just think seeing him every room is not good because you have him at a 43 goddamn percent chance like that. Like, why on earth do you have it that high? I get it. I think I was showing off in the video that you could, like, adjust the, uh, the percentages. Um, and, like, I think I forgot to change it back. That, that, that's gotta be what happened, I'm assuming. I could be 100% wrong, but I don't think I am. I think, uh... I think that's right because it definitely doesn't start at 43 and i definitely didn't change it to 43 i don't even like getting him a lot like i like getting him once a run that's fun but getting him like three times a run that's way too much he's super annoying to fight okay white pony is the better active item here so we'll take it and we'll leave i don't want to though i am going to quickly pause the recording and i will be right back i'm just going to refill my coffee all right, sorry about that. I am back, and let's just finish this run. Okay, okay yeah, we're on Womb 2. We're on Womb 2. Sorry, I left for a, a good few minutes. Not too, too long, but enough for me to, like, basically forget about the entire run. Uh, then again, bad memories. But that's not, once again, that's not, like, super long time. That's just, like, probably gone for about between 5 and 10 minutes, somewhere in that somewhere in that time period. But, uh, yeah, so this run, I mean, it's really good, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I remember now. This run is really great, but it's, like, kind of boring because Brimstone and shit. Uh, I like I like the Prince of Jacob's Ladder. Don't get me wrong. I mean that that part's fun, right? Because you get to hear all the the electricities. But like, at the end of the day, it's Brimstone, and it's like that's it. At the end of the day, it's just Brimstone. Ooh, what are you? That's lost coin. That's pretty. And that's pretty alright. Our luck stat is uh, apparently 8.24, which is pretty cool. Don't know when our luck stat got so good. My guess is it's it's been stacking through stuff like that. Uh, but like maybe when I kill bosses, it stacks or something like that. I also think. I don't know. I thought I read something about luck in the description of the item, so maybe the luck set has to affect it, and, like, maybe whatever you have for a luck set increases how likely you are to get... Yeah, I think whatever you have for a luck set increases how likely you are to get a stat-up proc from the actual item that gives us stat-ups for killing things. So, you know, and I'm assuming for bosses we've been getting an actual luck upgrade just from, like, uh, you know... Okay, th that did hit him great. I was worried that we would have been too soon and not have hit him at all. But yeah, I think from bosses, we're probably getting, like, full-on luck upgrades, like, all the time. Because no way we have 8.4 luck from our items alone. What do we have for luck items? We have, like, actually Dad's Lost Coin, Lucky Penny type shit, and that's it. Like, right there, we killed the boss, and you see we got some luck, right? So we're going up. Let's see what our total luck set is. It was at 8 before the boss. How about after the boss? Yeah, now it's at 10. So we're getting like two luck for boss. Also, I don't know why we once again have full mapping. I thought it was a draw slash downpour thing. I have not been proven wrong. So cool. Um, we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna we're obviously gonna rush the boss. There's no point in uh no real point in staying. You know, like the only advantage we have in full clearing is like some consumables and health and shit. But none of that we even need. Consumables wise, all we need is keys right now, um, because of the chest. But we have 13, which should be enough. I mean, with with 10 luck, we're gonna be getting a lot of chests. But I'm just hoping for a lot of non uh, non golden chests, basically, which is obviously an option. Though, let me be honest, our run isn't even great. Like, look at the damage we're doing to Monster too. That run's good. Don't get me wrong. And there's no there's no problem with it. It's not like we're not gonna win or anything. It runs basically a free win. Oh, you a laser too, huh? Kind of forgot about that. But the run's basically a free win. Did we get bosses? Okay, we, we that boss didn't count as a boss. That's good to know. But, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. It's just, like, our biggest damage dealer right now is literally, uh, White Pony, I think. <laughs> I think I think White Pony is not carrying us or anything. The, obviously, the, the Brimstone Jacob's Ladder is carrying us, right? But, like, that doesn't mean White Pony can't be our biggest damage dealer. But as you see, like, it's going to take us a good few cycles to really kill Isaac here. And if it takes a good few cycles, you're not overpowered. Um, you're only overpowered if you're, like, two cycling or one cycling him. In my opinion. This is, like, you are set. Like, right now I am set. My run is, like, basically one as long as I don't throw. My, but if I do throw, I can still die. That, that That's the area my run's in right now. We're not going Delhi. Definitely not. I got multiple recordings here. The fact, so the fact that I can wrap this one up in just like a little over 30 minutes, I'm super happy with. Rolling Leech, I mean, at least this is like some health. We're not taking Larynx, even though it would be an insta-kill on the boss. That'd be an insta-kill on the boss, though. Like, you know? And as long as it's charged by the time we get to the boss, it's basically a free kill. So, I mean, I don't think it'll be an insta-kill. But it'll get him most of the way. It'll get him further than White Pony will. So that means we just have to fight for these rooms. But as you see, Fallen is taking like quite a few shots to go down. And there's still Little Horn. So like I said, 
not necessarily overpowered, but we're doing good. Um, and with our 12 luck set, I would really, really... Is it still 10? No, it's 12. Okay. Um, I would really, 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 really hope we get some chest drops. Because if we get no chest drops on the entire chest with a 12 luck stat... Oh, boy. You know, it's just like, how do you do that? Oh, boy. Actual oh, boy moment right there. Uh, this drum, like, is a good indicator of we don't do a lot of damage. This room is typically one of uh, the easiest rooms in the floor, in my opinion, because, like, these enemies are not tanky, right? And when you have a lot of not tanky uh, enemies, it kind of, like, yeah, it kind of doesn't take long to kill them, but it's taken us quite a bit of time to kill them. Infamy is nice, though. Widow, okay. At least we're two-shotting Widow, because if it was taking any more than two shots to kill Widow, I'd be pretty upset, because Widow is very much not tanky. Honestly, a surprisingly low amount of chests. I know we've only cleared like three rooms, but for one chest for three rooms with 12 luck, it's just that math is like, oh, I don't like this at all. Man, you guys really. Oh, man, we got Mr. Mega. Okay, well, I, I, didn't, I know I picked it up like just now, but I didn't like acknowledge it. That'll help us clear like a good amount faster. Mr. Mega is just one of those items that. It, for going fast, it's got it's just goddamn amazing. Like it's super super good. Uh, going fast, it'll shred anything. Cause you think, oh, it's just a bomb. It'll probably stop being effective like late game. No 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 no. It does so much damage. It does so 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 much damage. And that's assuming you don't even have like any other bomb upgrades too, right? Like with no bomb upgrades, it's really good. So imagine you got like Bob's Curse and like Scatter Bombs and Mega Bomb and all those things. Bombs can be super viable. Even without all those things, I think bombs are a pretty viable source of damage. So I use, I use bombs to attack all the time. And like with Brimstone, it's even more fun to use them to attack. Because you basically, with Brimstone, you get like this built-in Dr. Fetus where you can shoot the bullets. Not the bullets, the bombs. Because when you let go of your Brimstone, it'll go with your laser. So you really have this like pseudo Dr. Fetus style shot. Also, this room is a big example of we need to use Mr. Mega. Oh, we messed up. Oh, we messed up. Oh, we wasted a bomb. Okay. Great, we're good. Get him. I want Gemini to finish this off. Thank you, Gemini. I just wanted to disrespect him like that. Yeah, we didn't get as many uh, chests as I would have thought we would uh, that we would get from the chest. Now, we're, now that I said that, they're gonna start piling up. But like. Yeah, we, we, we cleared a good few rooms, and we probably got about four or five chests. It's fine. It's just for 14 luck, you know, you're thinking like a good few chests. And that was definitely not a good few chests. That was just a few. Now we're okay. Yep. Like I thought. Like I said. Uh, now that I've brought it up, the game's like, oh, wait, you wanted chests? Oh, why didn't you ask? Like, <laughs> you should have opened with that. Even that's one of the first things I said when I entered the floor. And before I entered the floor, even. Okay. There we go for damage from uh, Larynx. Larynx is obviously super strong. I mean, that almost knocked out half of Blue Baby's health alone. And then we'll basically finish him off with Mr. Mega Bombs. Not a lot of modded today. I mean, Tier Game was here. But, like, I, I, I don't know. I really thought that'd be more modded. I'm not going to lie to you. It just kind of felt like uh, we, we had some really, really mod, modded runs the second we installed the more modded items mod. Then it stopped working. Let me make sure, well, I don't think it stopped working, it just stopped being effective. Let me make sure I actually have it turned on, and if I don't, I'm going to look really stupid, and that's going to be really funny. Um, I think it's just called more modded items. Higher chance of modded items. Yeah, no, it's still on, but anyway. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you please, and I'll see you next time.